guess where we are by my face right now alone. You probably can already by the title and thumbnail, but now I'm going to make it even easier. I'm going to put on a photo on this screen in three, two, one, bosh. Does the photo of this man tell you where we are today? Yes, you have guessed correctly. It is Brighton and Ove Albion versus Chelsea FC. Some are calling this the Graham Potter derby, and I do not blame them one bit. Brighton, last one a match in the Premier League on the 4th of September here against Leicester City. Who was their manager that day? Graham Potter. Who is their opposition manager today? Graham bloody Potter. You guessed it. It is a very, very big one for Brighton today. They are falling off the pace a little bit under new manager Roberto De Zerbi. Everything seems to be going against them and it doesn't look good right now, but they can turn that around. Will they do so remains to be seen. That remains to be seen. As the goalkeepers come out here today, Chelsea keepers already out. What a beautiful stadium. This is the Amex. Like I said, very interesting to see the reception this place gives their old boss Graham Potter today. Brighton have not scored here at the Amex in their last two outings. Like I said, they are yet to win a game of football under new Italian boss to Zerbi. Chelsea on the other hand, unbeaten in their first, I think it is nine or ten games under Graham Potter. He's doing a stellar, stellar job. Chelsea are grinding out wins from nowhere and winning games and drawing games left, right and centre just like big winning teams should do. I think they're going to do the same today against a fairly weakened Brighton side, an injury-ridden Seagull team. My score prediction is Brighton nil. It is Chelsea 2. Haven't actually seen the teams yet, but I'm going Kai Havertz and Christian Pulisic to get the goals for the Blues from London today. We are all set for a lovely, fantastic Premier League outing, like I said, it is Brighton versus, some would say, Brighton today. They've got Potter, Cucurella, the old backroom staff. They are all returning to the Amex today. And it is a very interesting prospect. We are about an hour before kickoff. Josh is always confident when it's Brighton. I guarantee you he's going to say 10-0 today. What is your score prediction? I'm going 2-1. It could go either way, but I'm feeling Fair play. Zach. No comment. Bad luck. Bad luck. Bad luck, he says. Right, we've got a Chelsea fan here. 3-2 Chelsea. 3-2. That is lots of goals. Kenny, who's getting the goals for Chelsea today? Got a little Sterling. team sheet here. Two for Sterling. Interesting. For Two Sterling, one Havertz. I reckon Havertz will get one. Pulisic to get the other one. Quarter of an hour to go. In go the Brighton team. That is a lovely neon training kit. They've got today applauded by the Amex faithful. There is the Chelsea away end. It will be packed out. Come three o'clock. Albion, Albion, Albion rings around the Amex. There's Graham Potter. Kickoff is imminent. It's Trossard! Yes! It's 1 0! It's 1 0! Come on! Come on! It's 1 0! Unbelievable scenes at the Amex! The Amex Stadium erupts like a volcano! Delirium on the south coast! And it's Leandro Trossard! Who stabbed Tony over the five minutes? What a start for Brighton. I do not believe what I'm seeing. I do not believe it. Graham Potter, eat your heart out. My friend, what a start for Brighton. Oh, yes! Oh, my God! I don't believe it. It's 2-0. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't believe it! This is incredible football heritage right here! Brighton 2, Chelsea 0. What a start! Chelsea, eat your hearts out. Graham Potter, eat your hearts out. Mark Cucurella, eat your hearts out. Everyone, eat your hearts out. Brighton 2, Chelsea nil after less than 15 minutes of football.
I think it was an own goal. It was an own goal by Ruben Loftus Cheek. Seagulls double their lead already. Loftus Cheek. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Can you hear those chants? Sacked in the morning. Directed at Graham Potter. You're getting sacked in the morning, the Brighton fans say. That is brilliant. Another massive chance, I've got to say. Brighton are oh, playing so, so well today. They're keeping Chelsea at bay very, very well. They are controlling this game superbly and it is brilliant to watch. Yeah! There's a third! There's a third! I do not believe it! Mayhem at the Amex Stadium! It's Brighton 3, it's Chelsea 0. What are we witnessing? Unbelievable. Unbelievable! 3-0! What are we watching? What are we watching? It's just incredible. Let's see who got the goal. It was Parvis Estupinian. Yes, it is an own goal, another own goal, Trevor Chalaba. Bryson have three. Chasm for harm to This is superb stuff. This is superb stuff. Take every second of it in. Take it all in. Wow. Wow. Everyone that's gone in for a half-time point. You're missing out, let me tell you that. This is one of the best first half performances from any team I've seen. And that is saying something. This is just top of the class. And it's half time on the south coast. You would never guess it. Two to the scenes around this place right now. Incredible. Incredible. There go the players. Who would have ever thought that? At half time at the Amex Stadium. It's Brighton and Odalbion 3. It's Chelsea 0. And it is absolutely tremendous! Wow! Got no come, on. come on! And during the half-time break, just to make matters better, me and Sally just had a lovely old chat with Brighton's old Zambian midfielder, Mr Enoch and Wepu. He was sitting in the box with us. What a lovely, lovely guy he is. I wish him all the best in whatever he pursues after his footballing career, which was so sadly cut short very, very recently. I'm sure he will be delighted with that for his team. But now let's see if his team can continue their fine form into this second half. It's going to be a good one. Here we go. Three one. A terrible start to the second half for Brighton. Kai Havertz gets the goal back for Chelsea. And I've got to say they have had chances. That's the first one they have taken. And the away end in its first fine voices today. It's Brighton three, it's Chelsea one. It is the ideal start for Graham Potter's Blues in the second half. Wow, Mark Cucurella Get some stick from the North fan. Over there, the Brighton fans. And I'm not surprised one bit. There he is as he comes off, replaced by Ben Chilwell over there. An attacking sub for Chelsea, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang on for Raheem Sterling. A well-deserved standing ovation for that man over there, Kauro Mitoma. What a breath of fresh air he is in this Brighton team. All the way from Japan, replaced by Chelsea Academy graduate and exceptional right back. Tariq Lamptey, can he ruffle a few feathers? We are in to the final 20 minutes here. Brighton still two goals to the good. Oh, it's four! Yeah, there it is! It's 4-1! Absolute chaos! 
delirium, pandemonium at the Amex Stadium. It's Brighton 4, it's Chelsea 1. Incredible. Oh my word. Brighton and Albion. Here are your glory days. Right before our very eyes. Take this in. Take this in. Brighton and Hove Albion. Four. Chelsea won. Simply sensational. And there it is! Take this in! This is prime football heritage! Brighton 4, Chelsea 1. This is simply stunning from the Seagulls. Graham Potter, eat your heart out. The noise around this place is electric. Unbelievable. Football really is the beautiful, beautiful game. Josh, get over here. Get over here. Unbelievable. How does it feel? So good. Incredible. Thank you ever so much for watching. This is a beautiful game at its very best. Good night.